Dev Durga is one of the most backward taluks in Karnataka. Illiteracy and child marriage are some of the biggest problems of the taluk. Munni got married when she was 15 or 16 years old. She couldn't remember it correctly. Now she has two children. Her son Chauhan was born when she was around 17 years old, she recalled. Munni said she was underweight at that time which impacted Chauhan's birth weight also. He was born less than normal birth weight, weighing only around 1 and 1/2 kg. So, doctor ne kya bola fir? Uh, son is 2 year old and weighs 8 kg. When he was born, his weight was 1 and 1/2 kilos. For 2 months Doctors kept him in the hospital. I got married very early. We are very poor and both my husband and I work as laborers in agricultural fields. It is very difficult for us to get work sometimes. We work for low wages and cannot afford good food. We do not have enough money to take him to the doctor. Yellowdoti Thanda has 110 children. out of which 9 children are severely malnourished and 7 are moderately malnourished according to the data by public health center for the year 2023 doctor said that in a week they register around 8 to 9 cases of malnutrition out of which one child will be severely malnourished the problem is not just limited to yellow dodi but extends to the taluk of the dev durga and india priya who has come with her grandfather to the taluk hospital is suffering from weakness gastrointestinal diseases the doctor said she suffers from malnutrition she is 8 years old and weights around 12 to 13 kg only a child of her age should weigh around 8 kg more than her present weight doctor of the taluk hospital said people in the village mostly eat jowar as their staple food and they eat it with anything which is available like tomatoes or simply onions and the meal lacks all the important nutrients like protein fats and the micronutrients which is needed for a healthy diet It is the lunch time in Yellow Dodi Thanda and Anganwadi is ready to feed the children under the PM Poshan scheme. Today's menu consists of pulao, sambar and eggs. The children are also given wheat, khichdi, green gram and jaggery who attend the Anganwadi center. It's an effort to tackle high level of malnutrition in the region. The children finish their food happily in the Anganwadi. But struggles to have other two meals back at home women like women are parents they will leave their child and they will go to work huh. usually whenever uh, they will come from uh, workplace workplace no? like usually kids they will ask something uh, to get rid of that kids uh, irritation so give, they will give, they will get some uh, chips this lack of appetite Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, they won't feel hungry. Uh, they won't eat uh, extra nutritious food. Mm-hmm. Yeah. India has one of the worst rates of child nourishment in the world. As per the government's portion tracker, the Women and Child Development Ministry, there are over 14 lakh severely malnourished children in the country. India ranks 111th. out of the 125 countries in 2023 global hunger index two large uh, national surveys so we have the comprehensive national uh, nutrition survey um, which is around 2018 19 and we also have the national family health survey <clears throat> which is around 2019 look at um, stunting it is uh, in india it's almost around 36% and uh, in karnataka it is uh, uh, almost the same uh, but in uh, raichur uh, which is uh, the devadurga taluk it is around uh, uh, you know almost around 40% that is the 
um, among children less than five. Uh, we also have underweight, 38 percent. Um, Karnataka is 33 percent, and uh, Raichur is 41 percent. Um, and then we also have uh, data on um, adequate diets. So, uh, if you look at that, um, it's very uh, less uh, overall in the country. It's almost uh, just around 11 to 12 percent um, actually eat an adequate diet. And this is like uh, definitely a cause for concern. Spurt highlights the drawbacks of public distribution system and midday meal schemes which are the main interventions done by government to tackle the problem of malnutrition. There is a disproportionate focus on cereals, which provides them energy, but lack in essential nutrients. The public distribution system or the midday meal scheme or the ICDS, um, the children um, and, you know, all the vulnerable groups, like whether it's adolescents or pregnant um, women, breastfeeding women, who are supposed to receive a balanced diet, end up, uh, receiving mainly cereals and this uh, can give them energy for day-to-day -day work but it doesn't give them good quality proteins and uh, midday meal scheme has been given to a large contractor uh, which uh, comes with a sattvic ideology that is because of which uh, they refuse to you know they they view all animal source foods as tamasic people uh, first of all traditionally what they're eating they're not able to access those foods Expert also underlines that the problem is not just limited to interventions taken by the government but also depends on the social factors that needs to be improved. Interventions, it's again very corporate-led. So the, the problem in, um, in North Karnataka is they need overall indicators to be improved. They need the social determinants to be improved. So you need to improve women's literacy. You need to improve women's access to education. Um, you need to improve incomes. But the income that is very less, uh, they don't have access to land. Um, they don't have access to health care. So all of these, um, you know, contribute to making people mal malnourished. Churches say there is a need of more inclusion and diversity in policy making. More reservations and more affirmative action like access to education, employment generation and to revise the minimum wages. The leave policies, labor policies and caste prejudices need to be addressed. Then only certain section of the society who are always marginalized and remains to be poor will be able to move out of this vicious cycle. Munni says she wants to give her children a better future by providing them good education, unlike her who got married at a very small age. She said she wants both of her children to become doctors and take care of her community who are still in darkness and poverty.